So Tanu, please introduce yourself. So my name is Tanu and I am uh, 20 years old. I'm born and brought up in Kethal, Haryana. I did my schooling from Little Flower Visitation Senior Secondary Convent School, Kethal. And my father is a businessman. My mother is a homemaker. I did my graduation in BCom Honours from Hansraj uh, College, University of Delhi. And I started my banking preparation in June 2023. June 2023 only. So uh, what are all the examinations that you have occurred in here? Uh, this is my first exam. This is your first interview as well? Yes. Okay. So why did you choose banking as a career? option for yourself uh, so basically my interest for banking started when i was in 12 i read in my macroeconomics two chapters were there chapter five and six i remember that nicely uh, where i got to know about uh, what is money and what is bank how bank operates how rbi control the banks and everything but that was just a piece of interest for me i haven't uh, thought of making career in it but as uh, i pursue bcom honors i got a chance to select Money and banking again as a chapter in my second year. Uh, okay. And I read more about banking industry there. And uh, that time it was the time when I made the decision to go uh, set a career in banking industry. And as soon as my graduation was completed, I started my banking profession. Okay. So what is a bank? Bank is a financial uh, intermediary between the savers and the investors. Uh, how does bank make profit? So basically bank accept the deposit and bank grant the loans. So whatever the interest they pay for the deposit and whatever whatever the uh, interest they charge for the loan, that is their profit. What are all the means for the banks to obtain? So basically, bank provide the local facilities, bank issue checks, bank issue debit card and credit cards. Also, bank uh, provide bank check can bank obtain profit. Okay, profit activities. Yes. Yeah. So local facilities. Right. And also uh, bank assurance activities. Bank assurance activities. Okay. So what is the difference between a check and a DD? Um, sorry, ma'am. I'm unable to recall about that right now. Okay. Okay. You have idea about current account and saving accounts? Yes, ma'am. So tell me uh, who all can uh, open a bank account? Bank account in a bank? Uh, any Indian citizen who is 18 year or above can open a bank account. Also, a minor can open a, back, a bank account, but on behalf of his uh, nominee. You said any... Uh, Resident Indian, any Indian, right? Any oh, yeah. foreign bank account, saving bank account in India? For non-resident Indians, there are different accounts. That is NRO and NRE accounts. If a foreigner wants to open in India, an Indian bank, can he do what? Yes, he can. So, uh, what is an NRO and NRE account? So, NRO stands for non-resident ordinary account and NRE stands for non-resident external account. In non-resident ordinary account, the money which the NRI earns from India, that is deposited. Uh, for example, uh, if he has a building here, the rent can be deposited in NRO accounts. And it is to be maintained in rupee only. And whereas the NRE account, the foreign earnings of the NRI is deposited there and uh, it wo, uh, foreign earnings are deposited and whatever is the dollar ka rate chal hoga, usme wo, uh, usme withdraw kar sakte usko. also the NRE account uh, interest is uh, sorry, sorry that's it okay is there any tax rebate on any of these accounts uh, yes in NRE account there is tax rebate and NRO, NRO account there is no tax rebate okay what your father does? He's a businessman. He's a plastic scrap dealer. What he does basically explain? Uh, so basically, the old plastic pipes are taken from dealers. And there are rented factory. There are machines. So it is grind. And the grind is the material that is made and transfer it. And it is recycled from pipes. Alright. So this business model is in which uh, profit is earned. So basically, the old pipes are taken from बहुत कम रेट्स पे लेते हैं वो जो स्क्रैप होता है क्योंकि स्क्रैप का रेट्स बहुत कम होता है तो फिर वो उस पे लेते हैं एंड जो मटेरियल uh, बनता है वो थोड़ा एक्सपेंसिव भी बिकता है क्योंकि वो आगे पाइप्स बनाने में यूज होता है तो जो बीच का मार्जिन होता है वो प्रॉफिट आता है कितना टर्नओवर रहता होगा आपके फादर के बिजनेस का सॉरी ही डजंट डिस्कस ऑल दिस इन आवर होम दैट्स व्हाई आई डोंट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट ओके फेयर इनफ यू हैव आइडिया अबाउट नाबार्ड नेशनल बैंक फॉर रूरल एंड एग्रीकल्चर या कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इट्स फंक्शन like three basic functions that it serves. Okay. So, yeah. Supervises RRBs, uh, refinance the RRBs and provide the uh, finance for the infrastructure facilities in the rural areas. 
Have you heard of RIDF? It is Rural Infrastructure Development Fund. What is what is it? What is it used for? It is used for uh, improving the infrastructure of the rural areas. Also, whenever the any of the uh, scheduled commercial bank falls short of its priority sector lending, uh, the excess amount is transferred to the RIDF. Uh, my last question to you: What is uh, certificate of deposit? Okay, so certificate of deposit is a money market instrument. It is issued by the scheduled commercial banks, uh, uh, and uh, the valid, uh, the maturity period is fourteen. Uh, sorry, the maturity period is ninety one days, one eighty two days, and three sixty four days for these. And what are T bills? Treasury bills are uh, the government backed securities which are also issued in the money market instrument and uh, they are issued at a discounted rate and at the time of the maturity you can get the full amount uh, in back okay how much interest bank pay uh, pays in certificate of deposit um, sorry sir i have no idea about that right now okay suppose bank is unable to meet its uh, psl target then what options they have other than ridf other than ridf yes sorry sir i have no idea about that Okay, what is the difference between NBFC and banks? So NBFCs cannot issue checks, whereas the banks can issue checks. NBFC cannot accept the demand deposits. Banks can accept the demand deposits. Uh, what are scheduled? Also, bank? the scheduled banks are those banks which are under the schedule uh, two of the RBI Act, nineteen thirty-five. Is there any condition? Yes, minimum paid-up capital of rupees five lakh. Five lakh. Are you sure? Yes. Sir. Uh, just one condition. Any other condition to be in second schedule? Sorry, sir. I'm unable to recall that. Okay. What are your bank preference in IBPS? Punjab National Bank. Why? Uh, because Punjab National Bank is the uh, topmost leading private uh, public sector bank in India, and after SBI, it has the most number of branches in India. Also, uh, last year it has done uh, last quarter it has done rupees uh twenty two hundred crore profit also, and also it uh. Caters to a lot of uh, consumer base. That's why. Okay. What is the tagline of PNB? The name. Uh, the name you can bank upon. And who's the chairman? Atul, uh, Mr. Atul Kumar Goel. Okay. What is APY? Uh, APY stands for Atal Pension Yojana. It is a uh, scheme uh, run by the government. It is a pension scheme basically. So uh, it is for the age group of eighteen to forty years of people. Uh, where you can uh, make, uh, where you can deposit money in the installments, and you can get pension after the age of sixty. And the pension amount can be uh, ranging from one thousand to five thousand rupees. Okay, what have you studied in BCom? Uh, uh, I studied uh, macroeconomics, eco uh, macro microeconomics, accounting. What is the difference and between macro and micro? And micro? Uh, microeconomics is basically uh, stud uh, study related to a particular market or a small area of market, but macroeconomics is the uh, study of the uh, Econ uh, economy as a whole. Okay, what is bottleneck inflation? Bottleneck inflation. Sorry, sir, I have no idea about that. Do you know any type of inflation? No, sir. So, have you gone through this year's budget? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, can you tell me how is this budget different from the previous year's budget? I mean. Uh, yes. Uh, this time. Uh, इंटरिम बजट इस बार इंटरिम बजट आया है क्योंकि इस बार जो है इलेक्शन आने वाले हैं अप्रैल और मई में जब भी जब भी जो बजट है जब भी गवर्नमेंट जो है वन ईयर से पहले चेंज होने वाली होती है उस टाइम में इंटरिम बजट आता है इंटरिम बजट आर्टिकल वन वन सिक्स के अंदर दिया हुआ है एंड नॉर्मल बजट इट इज इन वन आर्टिकल वन वन टू क्या आप ऐसे पांच चीजें बता सकते हो जो भी बजट में अनाउंस किए गए कोई भी पंच ओके सर आई ट्राई टू टेल Uh, first is uh, three new corridors are there uh, for the port connectivity as well as for the energy and uh, cement cement transfers um second is in uh, pradhan mantri awas yojana 2 crore more pakka houses will be there another one is uh, under pm suryodaya yojana uh, there will be 1 crore uh, solar panels will be there on the 1 crore rooftops uh, fourth we can say is Sorry, sir. I, uh, I know this much only. Other, I know the data. What was about the gyan? That is, garib, uh, youth, annadata, and nari. Uh, what is the uh, Manrega Yojana? Uh, Manrega Yojana basically it is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural uh, National Employment. Sorry, sir. I am unable to recall the full form, but it is yeah, basically yeah. To, it is basically to provide the hundred day employment to the rural people. Can you tell me what amount was allocated to this scheme in this year's budget? Sorry, sir. Is it your first mock interview? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. If it's your first, you're doing great. You have good. 
this, you have command on the language. Uh, your presentation is also good. One thing that I would want to point out here is that you are ma not making eye contact. Like right now, when you are talking with me, you are making eye contact. But when you, you are, and if you are not comfortable with that question, you are looking somewhere else, there or there. You are trying to remember the concept that you read somewhere. Let's say that you read it in a text. So it is visible that you are trying to remember that from there and then you are speaking. So it shouldn't happen. And that will come with the practice, of course. The second thing is that you are very confused with the Hindi or English language. Like when Fusil, uh, so when he started asking you questions in English, it, overall, when you started with your introduction to English, he supposed that you want to, he asked you in English, you replied that answer in Hindi because you were not comfortable answering that question in English. That was very much visible. But when he switched to Hindi, you started answering in English because you're more comfortable than in English. It shouldn't happen. If the interviewer, it's not that, it's as per their choice. and It's as per their uh, discretion that uh, whether they like it or not, it's not, it's very subjective matter. But what if? So we have to go very careful on these things that at least these are the very basic thing that we can uh, control that is our, in our hand so we'll not try to make uh, knowledge wise you're doing pretty well you're well read and it is reflecting in your answers uh, and uh, very politely you have said sorry to all the answers which you didn't know and the good part was when Sartre started with asking your questions you didn't know a lot of answers initially but when he asked you the right question you were smilingly uh, answering that question which shows your confidence in the conduct uh, the way, the way you are conducting yourself that was nice and if you're uh, like for example uh, when Fizil asked you uh, Sushil Tarun and you didn't uh, wala, and you forgot that it's okay it's very natural to forget to pass the panic because you panic for that why because you kind of went blank uh, it's up to them if they will uh, help you with the answers or not like once happened with me that uh, I was uh, in an interview of SBI and they didn't uh, help me with the full form of surface and I was all blank and stuff but at the other hand uh, I was stuck in IBPS interview or something they helped so it's at for them if they'll help or not so if they don't help so don't get stuck there say sorry sir I'm not able to recall but like you did in the Manrega you couldn't figure out the full form so you went uh, and explained the uh, the whole scheme Th that should be the way forward so overall that was my review of you you are doing great your first mock you have done extremely well so all the best you were talking about the budget you didn't mention the article 1 1 2 okay then we will go to the articles when someone tells you you don't have anything like Fuzil told you that Shishu you just said okay thank you thank you you should say and firstly, Tanu, I was uh, very much happy by your uh, performance because your personality jo hai, it is really showing a positive attitude and also you are uh, very much calm and composed. Uh, and maybe in a few months you might have uh, uh, panicked a bit, but uh, at really say uh, your performance was really good. And uh, uh, whatever you have to do with the a uh, few data based facts and all there's like a pm gati shakti mission okay Thank one you. more thing aapne economics padhi hui hai to aapko inflation ke bare mein pata hona chahiye ki bottle lag inflation kya hai uske types kya hai dusra aapko apne father ke business ke bare mein nahi pata basically numbers ghar pe kabhi discuss nahi hote hain father ka bhi nahi pata thoda us market ke bare mein jaan lo kyunki for example jitna aapko pata hai shayad usse kam hum logon ko pata hai to hum nahi pooch but aisa hota hai na ki unme se koi aisa baitha ho jisne us tarah ki finance kiya ho to that's all what we are asking for. 